Hey, this is Cole Knapper, VP of People Analytics and Product Evangelist for Orgnostic. We're here to show you a quick video today about Orgnostic surveying capabilities and what we're doing with empl the employee lifecycle. And but I'm here with Luca. Luca, tell me a, bit, a little bit about yourself. Hey, this is Luca. I'm the co-founder and CEO of the platform. Someone who uh, has been thinking about this uh, uh, for a while now. Uh, and an ex-CHRO that had problems with uh, employee lifecycle tracking and uh, and people analytics in, in, in general. Well, we'll have to dig into that in another video. But uh, Luca, do you want to show us a little bit about... Well, first of all, we're on the landing page of Orgnostics website. So if you want to come here and start a free trial or book a demo, this is what it's going to look like. But do you want to show us what it looks like, the end result of one of Orgnostics surveys? So let's look into one specific metric that uh, can come from one type of service from Orgnostic and then work our way back into how do we get there. Uh, so what I'm showing you right now is uh, a simple exit reason distribution uh, metric. And maybe I shouldn't say simple because it's probably not something that you're used to seeing uh, when you're thinking about ex exit reason distribution. Uh, the way that, or what we are showing here right now is uh, a distribution of answers of your employees who left the organization or decided to leave the organization uh, and how they are rating uh, different uh, 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 different aspects of work and what they're expecting to gain and lose with their future employer. Uh, that way you can look into both what are the things that they're willingly leaving on the table uh, that you offer as a set of your perks, benefits, or the ways of working, as opposed to what they are expecting to gain with this move to a different employer. Why, why does this kind of information matter, Luca? Oh, well, th this is crucial for you to actually figure out what are the things that you're investing currently in that are not making that big of an return or not making uh, a crucial impact on your employee experience. Uh, so, for example, here, you know, employees are in this current economy willingly losing on the office pro proximity and the uh, 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 you know, some aspects like even immediate value of cash compensation. Uh, in this scenario, some of them are just leaving equity on the table for the long-term career opportunities, long-term value of cash compensation and kind of company reputation in this scenario. Yeah. And then we can drill that down and see by different departments, how do these uh, concepts actually change? Like whether our engineering profile is going to be vastly different than our marketing profile. And uh, uh, that is giving us a very different kind of profile of the benefits that you're providing and the full employee experience that you're designing for these different departments or uh, teams. Well, if we're talking about exit survey, that, that's probably the end of the employee life cycle. But what about other surveys and how do they play a role throughout the employee life cycle? So let me work it back. Uh, uh, to you. So what do we do at Diagnostic is basically we are connecting multiple sources of data. So if we go back to the turnover chapter where I was showing you this exit reason distributions metric, you're going to be able to find there everything that is related to turnover from the number of levers, the turnover rate to uh, who are the groups that are that are at a higher risk of leaving. So it's basically oh, so combined. What you're, you're saying, Luca, is that Orgnostic actually merges in survey data with all the other data about the the workforce when it comes to turnover in, or any topic that's surveyed about in the employee life cycle. Is that correct? Exactly. And uh, it, with, with that, what we are allowing you is to have a consistent story that is going to combine both the transactional uh, fixed data uh, and the employee experiences. So you can get the holistic picture around uh, in this particular scenario turnover. And I, I was very curious. I mean, I had my own set of issues with connecting the survey data and the systems data previously in, in, in the company. And that was a, a huge struggle for us. I call you were a people analytics leader multiple times. Like, what has your experience been with uh, connecting the surveys and the systems? So oh, you've got problems. Vendors not giving you the data. If you're using a vendor, if you're doing your surveys internally, you have to deal with all the messy data yourselves of trying to link that to other organizational metrics. It becomes pretty complicated pretty quickly. And so having a tool like Orgnostic that can do this out of the box, that sounds amazing. Yeah. And what we can basically do is we give you a home screen where you can go and you can uh, uh, set your surveys. Uh, you can find 
uh, a number of different predefined academically validated surveys that are available to you. One of them are all these different diagnostic surveys that are already coming from uh, 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 distinguished institutions that have been uh, researched and academically tested and validated, like Denison Culture Survey or uh, you know uh, Team Diagnostic Survey from Harvard and similar. Uh, but you also have these sequences that we call data fillers, or think about them as automatically triggered surveys based on certain events uh, in your HRS or ATS data. Um, so exit survey, once you turn it on, is going to start the sequence to both an exit employee and their team leader and collect additional information to fill in some of the gaps that you might have in understanding uh, the reasons behind why people are quitting uh, that you can then uh, analyze deeper by different demographics, different segmentations of employees like performance, uh, salary categories, et cetera, et cetera. Wait, are you saying that I don't have to have a human being querying everybody who's leaving the company and manually sending out surveys all the time that Orgnostic that, will do that for me? That's exactly what I'm saying. Uh, and uh, it, that, that is one, only one aspect of it because it's not even about, it's not even about sending one survey. It's about automating a set of different sequences. Uh, think about the onboarding process, right? You can send one onboarding survey, but it's not going to uncover uh, quite a lot, right? So what you want to do is you want to automate a sequence for both the new hire and their team leaders. And then within the first 90 days, what you can get with these like very short to the point surveys is, you know, a, a bunch of different new metrics that are related to just the skill set level at hiring, time to productivity, uh, quality of hire, and then relate back uh, a quality of hire to your recruitment process and unlock the quality of different sources uh, uh, of uh, or different processes in your uh, recruitment uh, and selection process. Oh my gosh, quality of hire. That's like the holy grail in you know recruiting people analytics. So that's amazing. But Luca, what if, what if I, I, I don't see the content here that I want to survey about? Can I create my own surveys? Yes, you can. So we have the, the capability of creating the custom surveys. Uh, and uh, that is something that uh, uh, is obviously bringing in more of the uh, specific uh, set of metrics that you want to unlock. That is something that is quite idiosyncratic, something that is uh, tied to your organization. What you're losing, on the other hand, is the ability to benchmark. Uh, and uh, if you continue using something that is a standard out there on the, uh, in the market, uh, there is an opportunity for you to actually benchmark data and uh, explore it uh, from a different angle uh, as well. But we can even add your questions into our survey library. So if you did want to benchmark in the future, you could, right? Exactly. Yeah. So if, if we have that survey library that is in big enough and uh, if, if there are other companies that are also using those surveys, that becomes then uh, 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 an opportunity for you in the future. Awesome. Well, this has been a little teaser on Orgnostic's survey capability. But if you want to book a demo, we showed you where. And um, thanks for listening to us today. Thank you.